So this is an update on this uh, timing pulley. Um, I think I've got. I, I think I know what it is now. And it's so stupid. It's stupid. <laughs> what I did was this. I got hold of a spare pulley that I had, and uh, I put it on a surface table with some sandpaper, and made sure that was flat to the back of the pulley face. I turned it backwards, re-drilled the holes. And drilled and tapped two self tapping screws to go through my straight edge. I know it's a bit of a sacrifice, but in this case it was worth it. And I started to measure off here and here between the differences in the flange face, you know, difference between the casings. And there was quite a surprise. Let me move the camera. And I shall show you. You see, when we were testing the pulley, and we noticed it went in and out on the first video, all right, and I was had my dial gauge on down here, and that was testing it, it was going in and out, but there was something amiss, because when I put this on, I was testing the gaps between here and here, but look at the pulley. Now I've got some uh, exaggerated... Uh, length on here. Look at this. Oh, wait a minute, you can't see it, can you? I don't know if you can see it moving. Bearing shot. Let's come down here and you can see an exaggeration. How bad it is. <laughs> no wonder the bloody belt kept coming off. <laughs> see? Look at that. Now I know it's exaggerated quite a bit, but uh, even so I think that's, that's one of the causes of our problems. So until that is corrected, I can't check anything else. Um, yeah, it just looks like it's have to have a pump overhaul or something because I'm not sure what the tolerances are on these bearings, but now I have it like that, that's really bad. You can actually see the shaft. Wait a minute, let's, see, let's pull you around with this one a little bit. It's very difficult to get a, a view on this. Let's just so, hold on a second. I think there you should be able to see how that pump flange is moving. And again, when we turn it round, so it's not just in one plane, it's in all planes. So, is it supposed to be like that? I don't know. Has that been caused by the bearings? Probably. Well, not by the bearings, but a tight belt? Probably. And that could explain why the belt's moving. You know, I thought it was strange when that belt kept moving forward, but it took very little pressure to push it back. So, what do you think? I think bearing needs replacing, but to me, that's beyond my scope. I don't touch injector pumps. I really don't touch them. We'll have to have a word with the owner. Anyway, the things we have to do to make Land Rovers better, eh? Sacrificed one pulley, but I think it was worth it because when I go like that, you can hardly feel a bearing. Talk to you later.